Hello everyone, welcome to the brand new video series of Azure DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in 30 days. Tips and important points will be shared at the end of this video. Please do watch that as well. In our earlier video, we have created this project and we have created teams as well. Let me explain what is the overall structure of this particular project. Sales application is our project and under that we have two major areas, cloud solution and then application solution. Cloud solution will be working on cloud migration and application solution team will be working on social media integration login. So under each area, we'll be having dev and testing team. I request you to watch my uh, video on area path so that you will have a complete idea of this particular project structure. Now let's get back to ports. So now let's see what are the work items have been created, epic and future. So I have created one epic, which is for making the application global. And I have created two futures for application migration and two future for social uh, login integration and if you see one is for dev and another is for testing similarly for social media integration logging as well i have created one for dev and one for test so we have four features and we haven't associated this epic with the future which means if you just go here and see it is not associated it link have been not created and similarly we haven't created link with the user story as well and if you move towards right the epic is associated with the sales area path which which is an area path created in the name of the project meaning like whenever we are creating a project a area path will be created in the name of the project and this epic is common for both application and then cloud solution team and if you move towards right i have associated the respective feature to the respective teams as well and these are their area path. Now let's go to user story. And here if you see there are six user story. Now let's concentrate about application uh, solution only, uh, which is working on social media integration login. And here if you see, I have created three user story for dev team and three user story for testing team. And similarly, I have added tasks as well and I have already binded user story with the task and here if you see in under link you could find link for task and I haven't associated the user stories with feature and epic as well which we will be doing in this video. Now what I will be doing is I will be exporting all these work items to a CSV and I will be uploading to our telegram channel so that you can refer this and create work items and now first let me go to boards. I'm currently in dev team and here I could see what are the user story assigned to the dev team and if I switch to testing team I could see what are the user story assigned to the testing team we have covered about this both in our earlier video now if I switch to backlogs what are we the team we have selected that will be showing up let me switch to dev team and all these user story are showing up here now if you see here there is an order here so in case if you want to prioritize login with linkedin you can just move to order one so that you can prioritize this particular user story and you can plan your sprint so we will come to this sprint later and here if you see you have an option to create task here itself just click and click on add a task which will open up a pop-up you can fill this and if you just expand it will list out whatever the task which is already associated with this particular user story and uh, other way is here you have an option like expand one level which will list out everything like bugs task everything under the user story and you can just collapse it as well and here you have an option to switch to epic as of now the epic and we have only one epic which is under sales team which is the project team and if you see futures there should be one future here it is there and as I said earlier this feature is not parented with the epic let me show just click on this option and here you will find parents let's see what is the parent for this particular feature if you just turn it on you couldn't find any parent to it meaning like for future epic should be a parent but we couldn't see it here right there are two ways to associate a parent to it. One way is just open this particular feature and you can add a parent link from here. The other way we can do it with 
backlog itself let me show how we can do that first let's just click on this option and click on mapping which will open up this particular tab and here if you see we can map to a epic as of now here there is no epic because we are currently under dev as dev team but our epic is created common for the project meaning like for all the teams we have only one epic which is under sales team just select this so this is the one now simply just drag and drop see now we have parent the particular feature is now attached to the epic and similarly let me switch to stories let me expand this and this time we will be associating the user stories with our feature so how to do that let me switch back to dev team so now we have one feature under that all these user stories are supposed to be there now simply let just drag and drop let me see now everything is now parented under feature and feature is now parented under epic let me turn off the parent now it will list out only user stories and now let me go here to bolts let's move this particular user story to active and here it is not showing up now if you go here and enable this particular option backlog will be displaying in progress work item as well in case if you enable this option so what is in progress items so whatever the work item which are not new and closed everything is in progress which means active on hold resolve so these are in progress and let me switch back to backlog let me click on this option and let's turn off actually it takes a lot of effort to make a video like this so i request you to hit the subscribe button and super thanks is now enabled on our channel if you wish to contribute it would be really helpful for me let's expand this and here this user story is associated with the two task let me close this let me save now even closed is showing up here if you don't want to see closed item over here just disable this let me expand see that went off let me undo it again and now let me turn on parents here you have column option in case if you want to see any additional column over here you can use this option let's say for example here i guess assign is not showing up so let me click on this column option and here click on add a column and in this drop down either you can scroll it or you can just type it so assign to and where do you want to see it i want to see it next to title so just simply drag and drop and click on okay see now assign to also it is showing up and here you have filter option just click on filter option and it is showing up the list of filters let's say for example let's see whatever the user story assigned to quilly so these are the stories and the task which is assigned to quilly but i couldn't see the features right but which is supposed to show because we have already enabled parents from here because here if you see you have applied filter even after applying filter if you want to see the parent just enable this button see now the epic and feature are assigned to cloud tech rom but it is still showing up because we have enabled this particular option and what are left out forecasting and then planning these two option are left out which we will see it in our next video now let us see tips and important points closed or completed work item won't be showing up in the backlog after 183 days of last modified let's say for example if i am closing a ticket today it will be showing up for next 183 days after that it won't be showing up in case if you want to see it you can query it or you can make some minor changes in the particular work item so that clock will be reset and last modified on will be reset and it will again showing up in the backlog if you have stakeholder access you can't use reorder option in the backlog you need to have at least basic or higher level of access just note that 
filters so whatever i'm filtering over here and then expanding or collapsing and column options where i will be adding additional columns on this backlog so these are specific to individual user and these changes will persist unless you go ahead and change it even if you refresh it won't go back you need to go to column option and you need to change it back we have lot of concepts to cover i request you to hit the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever i'm uploading new videos most importantly super thanks is now enabled on our channel if you wish to contribute i would really appreciate it follow me on linkedin to stay connected and i will be providing the url for whatsapp and telegram link in the video description please do join thank you bye bye